Hello friends, today let's solve split array into Fibonacci sequence problem. We are given a string s of digits, uh, such as s equal to 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth, and we can split into a Fibonacci-like sequence. That means uh, we can add 123 and uh, 456 and their sum equal to 579. So that means the Fibonacci-like sequence at least should be a length of three because the first two elements, their sum should equal to the third element. And you should notice that they may cause the overflow because this string length is less or equal than 200. So it will easily cause an uh, overflow. This is the one thing. Another thing is that we may have the leading zero, like uh, zero, one, but it, it is not valid. Another thing is that it may have many different split. Um, we only need to return one valid split array so actually we, we only have three points to notice one is the overflow and another is the leading zero and the, i think the third point is that how to convert characters to the integer like if current number is 12 and how do we get 100 123 Actually, we can use 12 times 10 and plus the current chart, which is 3 minus the 0. As here, we use the ASCII code to get the offset. So finally, we can get 123. This is a very useful technique to convert character to the integer. Other thing is standard backtracking. So we, j we can just write our code. So first, we need the result, which is the list. We need a result. And then we will call a help function. Finally, we return this result. OK. As we only need to return one valid split uh, array. So once we find a valid uh, split, we just return. So we can use a return value of boolean. Once it has a true, we just return. We call it help. And we need the string. We also need the result. What else do we need? We also need to mark the position in the string. So we need the position. We actually have two main parts in any backtracking solution. One is the base case. In this problem, the base case is quite simple and straightforward. Once the position equal to s dot length, we reach the end. But we need to check whether the result size is greater than two, because like if it splits this string to two parts, they they are not a Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence should at least be the length of three. So we just return if the result dot size greater than two. If it's greater than two, we return true. Otherwise, we return false. And now, like we current at the three, we should uh, um go to right. Uh, because we needed to decide whether we just have this number three or we get 34 or we get 345. So we need to use this technique. So we first need the current number and it's three. And then we can also write the n. n is the string dot length. So we iterate the rest of this string. So i equal to position i less than an i plus plus. We get uh, we times 10 plus the s char at uh, i minus zero. Okay. Uh, we need to check whether it uh, 
cause the uh, overflow. So if number less than zero, it cause overflow, which is a return false. And if uh, once the result size if it's less than two, we just add it. Otherwise, if it's great then great or equal than two, we have two elements. We check whether they their sum equal to current number. So result size minus one plus result get result size minus two equal to current number. If yes, result add current number. And we uh, keep going to the next level. So with help uh, result i plus one ever have return a true will return true. Otherwise we do the you know backtrack we untruth. So result need to remove the last element we just add it. Okay. So another thing is if i equal to the position if we reset and we go here and the current chart is equal to the zero. We do not need to go on, we just return false because they cannot have any leading zero. So if S chart at I equal to zero, we return false. Otherwise, we also return false. So we fill these parameters if S and result and the zero. Okay, this is a capital S, capitalized S. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.